Welcome to the Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how to customize your Cinema 4D interface or layout as they call it. As you can see here this is not a standard layout. It is in fact the layout that I uh, customized or spent some time making so that I would have an easier time modeling as that's what my main task is in Cinema 4D. To customize an interface you just start out with one of the basic interfaces. I'll go to standard. While this is a nice interface to get started learning Cinema 4D, it doesn't really have that much in it. It's got a little taste of everything, but there's uh, you still have to go to all the menus to find all the real tools and stuff, or you have to learn them with keyboard shortcuts, and if you're like me, you're not a big fan of that. So um, to get started, it's pretty basic. All you have to do is right-click along like one of these sides, even here, so I'll just right-click and you get all this, all these uh, menu buttons. The basic one to edit palettes is edit palettes. You click this and all the buttons are uh, encircled with a little blue. So you can just click a button like this, drag it anywhere and let go and it moves. You can rearrange anything up here. Again, right click. You can delete a command, just click and it's gone forever. Or you can do other things such as remove the logo. I don't know why that's there. Um, you can add text. A lot of times you might want to uh, learn what the uh, pictures stand for. If you have a picture and you don't know what it does, well, these are uh, the names that Cinema 4D applies to all of them. So I'll get rid of that. You can also do things such as um, transpose from a column to row. Not the best thing right there. Or add multiple rows and columns. I can do that at the top. At the top it will add uh, uh, rows. And you can change the icon size. Cinema 4D starts out with large. You can switch to medium or small. Medium is what I I use a lot. Small is pretty small. Whoops. Just give you a taste. It's pretty small. I can't see too much detail in the pictures themselves. Um, if you want to add tools, um, add buttons, pretty much you can add anything that's up here in these menus all over the place. You can just right click anywhere and open the command manager or press shift F12. This has a list of every command, button, whatever that has a picture. As you can see, everything here has a picture, and it's a it's quite a large list of them. So, unless you want to spend a lot of time searching for the exact one that you're looking for, for example, right now I'm going to look for the one that I just deleted earlier. You can type in the name of it. For example, I deleted the edges tool, so edge, and here it is. The nice thing about this is you can just click and drag, and you can see the plus sign. You can add it just about anywhere and then rearrange where it is so there the other thing about the command manager is you can add keyboard shortcuts uh, for example these three tools I added my own shortcuts here alt X um, alt Z X and C you I don't think cinema 4d comes with them so you'll have to add your own a lot of, a lot of times you will probably be overriding uh, other commands in Cinema 4D since it has keyboard shortcuts for almost everything. Excuse me. So um, don't be afraid to override. Just uh, don't. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to override because a lot of times there will be some obscure command that you'll never use. That I think that's what I override. I have no clue what I did. But once you're done with all this, you can just uh, you want to save it because. This is a very important thing. Say you really like this interface for some reason. If you want to, for example, borrow an idea from UV Edit and you don't save, this is what will happen. You go to UV Edit, you see something that you like, like maybe this cluster, you go back and it's back to the way you started. And if you don't save, then, well, you've lost all the data just like anything else. So to save an interface, so let me edit palettes, um, undock this and delete it. So say I like this. So to save the interface, 
I stop editing palettes, just click this again, go to Window, Layout, and either Save Layout As or Save As Startup Layout. Save Layout As just saves it as another layout. For example, all of these are just another layout. Save As Startup Layout, as you can see what I did with mine, uh, will save it as it says as a startup layout. So the next time you start Cinema 4D, this is the layout that will start, not standard. So as you can see, this is pretty basic, it's very simple, and it's actually kind of fun. And you can do all sorts of things such as just re rearranging, redragging, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.